hey guys welcome to my channel if it's your first time here i'm saison and if you'd like and for a subscriber hey thank you so much for tuning in in today's video i'll be showing you what's in my macbook and also showing you how i customize my macbook so if this is something that you'd like to see then definitely stay tuned for the video without further ado let's get right in the video let me just share my screen with you i have been seeing these videos and this is something that i've always wanted to do so i'm definitely excited hopefully you can see my macbook this is how it looks like i must say i'm obsessed i used color widget so that is the first app that i'm going to show you guys color widget yeah that's the app that i use like to customize my macbook so basically um there are widgets which are there so you just like need to customize the widget that you want let's say this calendar you click on the color that you want and you set the widget but if you want to have pictures like this okay let me just show you the course that i've put on my screen as you can see here what you do is you go on the picture that you want okay so these are the photos that are there but you can customize it on pinterest so what i did is let's say i want a photo i go on the photo and change it and i went onto pinterest okay i have some pictures here that i downloaded on pinterest i'm going to use them so let's say this is the picture that i want i change the photo like that then after changing the picture that you want you set onto the like set as new widget then that is the new widget and for you to put it on the screen what you do is you see like i use two hands and go on the right side click there then say edit widget then you go on to color widget and tap on the widget that you want so there is the large the medium the extra large so let's say i want the small one and after putting on there what i do is i click on this widget i click like what i did with my two hands on the right side and i edit the widget then click the click widget 17 since that is the number that i picked for my widget then i click done then voila you have your widget so i just think widgets are the gift that i don't know but i just feel like motivated seeing my screen like this i don't know if it's just me but yeah that was like a little tutorial i was thinking of doing a whole video of this but i just feel like not many people are interested like seeing the whole video of me like doing widgets so this is my screen as you can see here i am obsessed it shows the percentage of the macbook as you can see it says 69 and i just think like it's really aesthetic and honestly on this small widgets on this icons here i know i said youtube edit monthly goals canvas school but do i actually use it guys i don't use it at all if i click here okay let's say school there is nothing on canva there is nothing but what i wanted to do is like to organize my stuff in there for school i put my documents in there because i think it's just like really annoying downloading my documents all the time so i need to put them in this folder and as for the canva one i once was selling some cards on canva like the the digital cards so i have been on pause right now because i am so busy with uni work but when i start again i will put them there and my monthly goals i have been slaking and right now i'm just like rushing right now it will be november then very soon it will be december then the year just ends guys i'm just rambling but anyways okay let me just show you the other apps that are on my macbook as you can see here these are not the apps but there is mini play i really don't know what that does but let's see what it does some of these apps i've never okay so i think <laughs> why is this the first sound okay so this is the um, one for you if you want to listen to music but i think i've got apple play there is pinterest which doesn't work i really don't know why it doesn't work i don't know then i have got came on i really love this camera guys i downloaded it on on my um applique 
applications application store it didn't come with the air but this is how i look like i must say i really love it and let's take a picture Is I'm so bad with pictures. No, that was a video recording, but that is the camera. I really love it. Okay, if you want to take pictures with this, you need to pay a subscription, of which I'm not doing that. Nah. The other one that is on my MacBook is the Gmail. Guys, I don't know, is it always me? But I never, I never, when I say I never, I never look at my Gmail because what's this? What's this? Thousands of emails waiting for me, but you know what? Some of them are from Indeed. You know, like what's really annoying with Indeed is it really doesn't give you the job. It will be saying like, unfortunately, this job is, I don't know. It's just like they never reply to you. You know what I'm saying? So at this point, I'm no longer reading emails. Then I have my Microsoft Word. So what happened like when I bought this MacBook, I bought the, let me just see the one that I bought. What I was saying is when I bought this MacBook, I bought the Microsoft Office form and student because you know MacBook doesn't come like with the Microsoft of which me as a student, I really need it. One tip for you guys, if you buy at Carries, they give you a discount if you're a student. Let me show you what the discount was. If I still have like the receipt. Yeah, they gave me like a 50 pounds discount, which I think it's a bargain. A win is a win, guys. Yeah, the Microsoft was for 120. Yeah, 120 pounds. I also have Canva. I use it for my editing as a content creator. I'm constantly creating videos. So I use this for my, what is it? For my thumbnail. And I also use it for my etsy shop because i have an etsy shop so i edit the cards on there and i've been thinking of doing journals because i think journals are on demand a lot of people buy journals so i have been thinking of doing journals so that's what i use canva for and i really think it's really good if you want your thumbnails to be good because canva okay let me just show you if you go on canva and let's say you, you you want a vlog thumbnail um okay so you want a vlog thumbnail let's say you want to use this one you can just like edit and put the pictures that you took so i think it's really simple to use easy to use i also have my microsoft teams that's part of the microsoft software and i also have got like pizza express and barbarit i don't even know but i was signing for my birthday you know like those birthday rewards that they have so i was like signing all the shops so that when my birthday comes i would be collecting everything from those shops i also have google chrome i have CapCut. CapCut, i really love using it because i think it's like really simple especially like if you do not want to pay any subscription because i used to pay for wondershare Fimora, but i don't like it in my own opinion i just don't like wondershare Fimora. i just think it's like overrated so i don't want to pay like any subscription so i use CapCut, and i honestly like it I use CapCut and what is it? iMovie. Yeah, these are my other apps. I was now thinking where are my other apps. So iMovie, I, I don't know if you want me to do like how I edit my videos, but I don't think I've reached that far. I don't think I'm a pro yet to show you like how I edit my videos, but I use iMovie to cut the clips that I had recorded. And I then use CapCut for some effects, some video effects that are on CapCut. I just love them. Them. as you know as an apple user there's the app store the safari the mail i showed you the contacts i don't know like why they say first time on a macbook because i don't use i don't like use it so my macbook and my phone are connected that's why like there's first time and messages but i just think like every macbook is like the first time in messages which i don't know why because i never use it i never use my phone for video calls i don't know like if i'm the only one what there's this one 
find my MacBook, guys. Don't argue with me, y'all, but MacBook is really handy. Last week, my cousin lost his phone. He didn't lose his phone, but he left it in the bus. We had to track it using his laptop. We had to track it. Guys, we could actually see when the bus was moving, when it stopped. So don't come for me and say apple is not worth it guys it's worth it because if it was just like some other phone you know like that's the end of it but with apple what i like about it you can track it even like if your phone is off it's like really findable you can track your phone and what then there is photo booth um okay i'm just like mixing things around there's the reminders which i never use there is notes i only use it on my phone there is photo booth um i think the yeah this is the app that i wanted to show you the cam on i think it comes with macbook um i just love the camera guys just like look at this who is that girl nah i'm so bad with pictures guys i don't like pictures at all i have the apple music which i never use i have like my free subscription that i've never used before guys i don't know like how do you how do you download spotify from macbook m2 because when i tried to download it it was saying like it's not available it's not eligible with this device okay let me show you spotify I can't really find Spotify if I, you see, like there's no Spotify, so I really don't know. Is it only my MacBook or what? Then there's the Apple TV podcast, which I never use, voice memos, garage band. What's this app, guys? I just feel like deleting all these apps because what's this? New garage band. Oh, I think if you want to learn how to play a guitar, then you can use this. Would I want to learn? I think for me, like, I want to learn how to play a piano, not a guitar. There's the keynote, which I also don't know what it is. I just feel like Apple has a lot of applications which are not necessary. Oh, so this one, like, if you want to create a presentation, that's the app that you use. That is Keynote if you want to prepare presentation, but I have the Microsoft PowerPoint, so I really don't know if I want this. Then there is Numbers. Let me see what it is about. What is Numbers about? Numbers, education, business, home improvement. Oh, so if you want to create things like a calendar or what, then you go on Numbers, okay. Then there's pages, guys. I just feel like there are <coughs> a lot of unnecessary applications on MacBook. There is the weather, news, talks, books, dictionary. I never use dictionary. I think I last used dictionary when I was in primary. <laughs> there is the calculator. Guys, I never knew like there was a calculator in a MacBook. Like this the first time. There is free form. I think this is like when you want to. Okay, I I don't know what I'm saying. But what is this app for? I I really don't know what what it is for, honestly. Then there is the home clock, Siri, system systems, other. I don't know. The only thing that I know here is chess and image capture. Otherwise, as for the other ones, I know screenshot, Bluetooth, file exchange. As for the other ones, I don't know just wait <laughs> so that was a little video of what's on my macbook i just feel like doing this video i've always wanted to do this video as i have seen other people doing it and there isn't like really much apps added onto my macbook those are the apps that are there the ones that came with the macbook are the ones that are in there i really hope that you enjoyed this video and don't forget to like subscribe turn on post notifications and share with your friends bye guys love you